From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. The human brain is an amazing information processor. With around 100 billion nerve cells, the brain continuously takes sensory information and tries to interpret it. The brain's unparalleled ability to recognize patterns is one of the primary reasons for humanity's evolutionary success. But this compulsion to isolate patterns can also mislead us, convincing us that mere coincidences could have some underlying cause. This is known as false causation, and it's a common error in most people's lives. In the face of an incredibly complicated world, our brains strain to determine how things occur. Sometimes we simply make mistakes. At least that's the mainstream view of human perception. Some people don't accept this view, and they argue that our observations are more sound than we might think. In fact, they go a step farther and say that by observing a coincidence, we may actually be able to influence its outcome. Here's where it gets crazy. Scientists at the Princeton Engineering Anomalies Research Laboratories, or PEAR, experimented with human beings in coincidence for more than 25 years. The group was originally created to research psychokinesis and remote viewing, yet PEAR is best known for its studies of human minds and machines. A group of scientists headed by Richard Nelson claims they have made several fascinating discoveries. In one experiment, an individual faces a wall of falling ball bearings. These bearings can fall into a number of slots. According to their findings, people who watched this wall and concentrated could generate a small but measurable difference in the results. In other words, balls falling without an observer fell in random distributions, but observers influenced the outcome. The researchers have also claimed this phenomenon is measurable on a global scale. Over the first nine years of the Global Consciousness Project, scientists monitored the results of 236 events using random number generators across the globe. The group claims it observed a measurable change in random number series across the world during global scale events such as 9-11 or a natural disaster. Some speculators have taken this to mean that human thought has a mysterious ability to affect the probabilities of the natural world. Skeptics would beg to differ. If human beings are notorious for finding patterns where none exist, isn't it possible that scientists are simply looking at data in retrospect and seeing what they would like to see? And how exactly can we define a global event? And what if, despite this controversy, the research indicates a genuine ability of the human mind? How could the act of observation influence the probability of one action over another? To some, this alleged phenomenon must be related to quantum physics and quantum entanglement. Could the process of thought somehow entangle the human mind with a part of the external environment? And if so, how? Pear was never able to find the answer. In 2007, the organization shut its doors. It was similar to other parapsychology projects, such as the CIA's Stargate program, where a group of agents and psychics attempted to produce verifiable results of psychic powers. Researchers at Pair maintained that their data is sound, and that they didn't have access to peer review that would have vindicated or at least strengthened their conclusions. Skeptics claim this is just another branch of pseudoscience, but the researchers at Pair hope their data will be used by future researchers. For now, people who keep predicting songs minutes before they play on the radio will have to settle for a partial explanation and a question. Did Princeton close Pear because it was conducting pseudoscience? Or because the laboratory discovered something they don't want you to know?